just be the bigger person and move on. A bully teen turned stabbing suspect told by school officials to just brush it off. Now his family tells CBS2 he never would have turned violent if somebody had stepped in. Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. I'm Maurice Dubois. Only CBS2's Ali Bauman spoke to the family of the teen charged in the September stabbing, who says there were warning signs. She's live at the Bronx Criminal Courthouse with more for us. Ali? Abel Sedeno's mother told me if she had only known what was really going on at that school, three families would not be destroyed today. Sedeno claims he was only trying to defend himself against bullies. Now he's living day by day at Rikers Island. Long hair chopped and collar askew. This is the first time we've seen 18 year old Abel Sedeno after he was charged with manslaughter in September. Accused of stabbing 15 year old Matthew McCree to death and seriously injuring another student during history class at the Bronx High School. In a whisper, Sedeno entered his plea. The defense argues Sedeno just snapped after being bullied for years about his sexual orientation. This whole thing could have been prevented. This 15 year old could have been alive. Hours after court, Sedeno's sister and mother told me they wish they had recognized signs of bullying before it was too late. He will come home with bruises constantly and we'll ask him and he'll blame it on volleyball. Why do you think he didn't want to tell you the real reason that he didn't want to go to school? Abel had told us that he would speak to teachers about it. They would just tell him, you know, just be the bigger person and move on. Sedeno's mother says she had been meeting with school counselors regularly, worried that her son was growing introverted. She claims nobody ever mentioned bullying. Not going once a month, like for 10 months straight, mm -hmm. looking and for help for my son and trying to see what is the reason that my son no one to go to school. McCree's mother adamantly defends her own son. If Abel Sedenia was being bullied, I feel sorry. I'm sorry for him. But he was not being bullied by my boys. When you talk to Abel now, how does he feel about everything that happened that day? In yeah. his heart, yeah. he felt real bad because he you know he never he scared even a, a mosquito okay. is something difficult for me like a mother but he seemed strong positive Department of Education officials have said that they are waiting until the investigation is over before responding to those claims that Sedeno reported the bullying. But last month, the DOE pledged $8 million to new anti-bullying initiatives. Sedeno is due back in court later this month. That's when his mother tells me she hopes he will be released on bail. From the Bronx Criminal Courthouse, Allie Bauman, CBS2 News. Allie, thank you.